So let us look at 60th question of gate 2022, which is a numerical answers type. Let me study the question. A cylindrical specimen of an aluminum alloy with diameter of 30 mm is cold extruded to a diameter of 20 mm. If the flow behavior of the alloy is expressed by the equation sigma equals 350 multiplied by epsilon power 0 0.3 MPA, the ideal plastic work of deformation per unit volume is to be found. And the answer has to be rounded off to the nearest integer. Let us solve the problem. It is given that the flow behavior of the alloy is expressed by the equation sigma equals 350 into epsilon power 0 0.3 MPA. And the aluminum cylinder is cold extruded from 30 mm, let us take it as D0 to 20 mm and let us take it as DF. Let us now look at the formula. The ideal plastic work of deformation per unit volume is given by the formula up is equal to integral sigma d epsilon. For solving this, we need to find the true strain that the material has undergone when cold extruded from 30 mm to 20 mm. For ideal deformation process, true strain epsilon is equal to ln r, where r is the reduction ratio which is equal to A0 by AF, where A0 and AF are the cross-sectional areas of the cylinder before and after extrusion respectively, which is also equal to D0 square by DF square. So, epsilon will be equal to ln of 30 square by 20 square which will be equal to 0 0.8109. We need to substitute the given flow stress equation into this equation. On substituting this, we will be getting up equal to integral 350 epsilon power 0 0.3 d epsilon. And as we know the true strain is 0 0.8109. So the lower limit will be 0 and the upper limit will be 0 0.8109. On integrating, we will be getting 350 multiplied by epsilon power 1.3 by 1.3 and the lower limit is 0, upper limit is 0 0.8109 which is equal to 350 by 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.8109 power 1.3 which on solving gives 205.01 let us now look at the unit for the ideal plastic work of deformation where sigma is mpa and epsilon is string which is the change in length by original length let us take it as meter by meter and as we know megapascal is 10 power 6 times Pascal which can also be written as Newton by meter square multiplied by meter by meter which is equal to 10 power 6 Newton meter by meter cube as we know Newton meter can be written as joule this value will be 10 power 6 joule per meter cube the unit will be multiplied by 10 power 6 joules per meter cube from the question, it is asked to find the ideal plastic work of deformation per unit volume in terms of 10 power 6 joule. The answer will be 205 when rounded off to the nearest integer.